Thanks so much for joining us, Mr. Alexander. Now, in 2005, you promised us uh, in your manifesto a referendum on the Lisbon Treaty, and you promised you wouldn't raise income tax. Um, you broke both those promises. What's the point of these manifestos? Well, this manifesto today sets out an ambitious agenda for renewal that really answers three questions that people are asking. How can we rebuild our economy and secure the recovery? How can we protect and reform our public services? And how can we clean up politics? And we set out answers to each of those questions here today. But you today. haven't set out the answer to the question I asked you, which is what's the point of the manifesto if you feel free to break those commitments as soon as you get elected? Well, the European Constitutional Treaty went by the wayside, and in terms of taxation, we've just come through the worst global financial crisis in 60 years, unprecedented times that demanded unprecedented measures. We made our choice that those at the very top of the income scale should make an additional contribution. That's a very different choice from the unfairness of the Conservatives' tax plans before the country today. What is to be cut in the next five years? Mr Darling has warned us we can expect more and more severe cuts than under Margaret Thatcher. And yet, in this manifesto, there's no indication at all of anything being taken away from anyone. Well, actually, there is. If you have a look at the document, it sets out what we've already put in the public domain, which are uh, the significant savings that we are going to have to find to get the deficit under control. We've set out about £20 billion of those savings already, but we are equally determined to protect police numbers, protect our NHS and protect our schools. That's why it's a very different choice on offer to the British people between a Labour Party determined to protect frontline services and a Conservative Party whose priority is to give a tax cut to the 3,000 richest estates in the country. Can you just answer Nick Clegg's point? If you haven't managed to do this stuff in 13 years in government, why should we think you've managed to, you're going to manage it in the next five? Well, Britain is richer, stronger and fairer than it was back in 1997. But this is the first post-crisis election, and that's why we're offering answers, not just about how to clean up politics, but the big questions people are asking around their lunchtime and living room tables today. How do we earn our living and pay our way in the world? How do we protect the services that we rely upon? And how do we secure the recovery? That's the agenda, and I believe we've got better and more progressive answers than the Conservatives. OK. But don't take my word for it. Visit the Labour website today, and you can see for yourself. OK, thanks. We're running out of time. Thanks so much for joining us, Mr Alexander. Thank you. So will this manifesto convince some floating voters to vote Labour? Well, our Scotland correspondent Debbie Edward is in Newton Means in Lanarkshire in the marginal constituency of East Renfrewshire. Debbie.